excited to get him back, and how has he kind of handled this process? Because it, yeah. it seems like he's doing, um, I don't know, you kind of watch him out there, and it seems like he's, he's been a pretty good teammate throughout this whole thing. Yeah, no, he's, he's done a good job throughout this. Um, DSG status now, you know, as far as the, the academic part of things went, um, that's over with, and then now we're still, we're still week to week. Um, there's still things in this program that we consider to be very important for these guys. We're trying to teach certain things through the game of football, and um, you know, there's still things that have to be done. And so it'll be a day-to-day, week-to-week, um, and that's just how we'll operate with him. But he has done well. He has handled uh, what's happened to him well. He did go out there and he's done a great job on the scout team. Um, and there's other things outside of football that he's taken care of. but. Um, you know, we're still at a point now where, where this is uh, this becomes internal with the program and, and the difference we're trying to make in these young people's lives and how we need to do it. Um, so we'll just say it's day to day, and we'll figure out as we get closer to game time what that means. Even though some of the scores have been pretty crazy between you and New Mexico in the past, it is possible when you play a triple option team that they can really dominate time of possession. Is that something you take into account when you're thinking about what kind of plays you're going to call, knowing that you may get fewer possessions in a game because they could sit on the ball a little bit? Um, not really. I used to think that, but not really. Was there um, a reason or an event that led to you? It appeared you guys were using towels to shield some of the defensive signals that would go from the game in Utah State. Was there something that led to that? Um, I you know, know we've seen that before. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I saw that too. Uh, I wasn't a part of that conversation there. But yes, I mean, there's always signals and so on. Um, you know, I think you got to kind of use a little judgment in there. And uh, against Utah State, uh, we played them. Uh, there was also Julius Brown, you know, was also on their staff there as well. So there's probably a little bit of, of that going on. Um, and I think. Uh, you know, we used some towels. I remember watching Oregon, and they had, you know, four large sheets. Uh, everybody does it a little bit different. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure. I don't know if the. I know people try to steal signals and all that. I don't know which ones do it. I remember as a backup quarterback, that was one of my jobs here. I'd stand on the sideline, and Dirk would tell me to watch the signals, and I'd be yelling "run," and they'd throw it. <laughs> yeah, and he'd look at me and he'd be like, you're done. So it really didn't last that long. So about the first time or the second time it fails, uh, they stop listening to you. So um, if that's really your game plan, I think you're spending time on the wrong stuff because uh, that really didn't work out for, for us. I know that. I asked you a little bit back in Las Vegas in media days about this, but the team photo that New Mexico took last year after the game, uh, how did that sit with the players? And I know it's a respect thing, I guess, that it doesn't happen here very often, but well, that picture circulated all this week and, and the feeling after that game, I guess, that, that you guys had, you know, losing on the blue to them. Yeah. Um, you know, as far as the picture goes, that, that's every team, we don't control what they do, you know, and the decisions they make. And that was, that was up to them to do that. And um, certainly it's been seen. I mean, you guys know about that. We're, we're not talking about revenge. we got to go out there and just execute, do our jobs. That's really what it is. I mean, that, that's what football is. There will be emotion in this game, you know, just because we're traveling, we're going to a, a, a good football team's home, and we want to try to find a way to win. And certainly uh, have respect for them playing against them. Uh, we want to do our job. We want to go out there and execute. And um, so the motivation from that standpoint, uh, that's not going to be the motivation for what we do today. The motivation for what we do today is preparing to go out there and just play, um, to go out there and play and, and to play like we have been playing. Don't hesitate play fast and, and uh, do what we've been doing. So um, those type of things, you know, we, we don't spend a lot of time on that. We're trying to spend time on the things that, that really matter and that we can focus on and get better at. Last season, in the, in the game here, Thomas had 20 <coughs> catches in that game. What was the thing, when you look back at that and you look at the film, what impressed you most about whether it was that game or anything, anything that he did that night that just, you know, 20 catches is? Yeah, I, well, I think we had 100 and 19 plays overall in that game and 79 throws. Um, that's not what we do. Uh, but in the in that case, uh, anytime you have 20 catches on, on any team, that's an impressive night. Thomas is a guy; he's consistent. Uh, Thomas continues to be that way. I think you saw it in the last game as well. And 
But that's not the game plan that, that we'd like to go in, into this game with. We were throwing the ball 79 times. So that was uncharacteristic, um, kind of the way the game was going. Uh, but he certainly stepped up and continues to do that. Uh, now you're seeing said Wilson, you know, Chaz has stepped up. And you're starting to see some other guys as well. And uh, certainly McNichols has played uh, very effectively, and, and we've seen that. He certainly did in the last game. So we'd like to be a whole lot more balanced than uh, what we were last year. Um, Coach, you, guys, you look at the last few times you've gone out on the road, and, and you've had quite a bit of success in, in terms of uh, you know, some large point margins of victory and stuff like that. And I don't know if you guys are doing any differently or whatnot, but what, what, what kind of has led to that, that focus on, on the road that has seemingly led to quite a bit of success? I think it actually goes back to the Utah State game last year. After that, you guys been lights out on the road. Yeah. Um, the road trips are good for us. You know, I think it's one thing. You know, our guys do a very good job. And I think this crew in particular are traveling. You know, we have a little routine when we get there and how we do things. Um, this one's going to be different now that we're playing on Friday. So the way our week goes, it changes a little bit at the end of the week and how we flip days from a Thursday to a Friday. Uh, so this will be new. But the one thing that we talk to our guys about is we know when we're going to play. We're playing at 7.05 on Friday night. That's when kickoff is. That's not going to change. So whatever we do leading up to it, um, that really shouldn't affect anything we do on game day. We know what, what time we're playing, we know who we're playing, where we're playing, and the little tweaks here and there, you know, if that affects guys, then, then we're not mentally tough enough uh, to handle little changes and, and little things that come up. Uh, we talk about adversity. We might get off the plane, the buses aren't there. We might get off the plane like when we were at Virginia Tech this year. Uh, we came out of the parking lot of the hotel and the axle on the back end dropped right out of the bus. And all of a sudden, uh, the offensive guys were jumping on the defensive bus, and that thing was rocking and probably wasn't safe. But we were driving to go play Virginia Tech, and we showed up and went and played well. And that's just that's the mindset uh, of what you want to have on the road. And certainly, I wouldn't say we're there yet, but we're working towards uh, handling things a whole lot better. So I think the guys just do a good job. Uh, Taylor Tharp uh, handles a lot of what we do on the road, and I think he's that's a part of it too, but his process and how we've done things has been very smooth. And so when our guys, we haven't had those issues, so we show up, um, and we're ready to roll. The last two years against the option, both Air Force and New Mexico, what has been the, the biggest issue for you guys in playing those teams? And also to, to be four games in and have two turnovers on defense, uh, how, how do you kind of explain that? And, and I mean, obviously you're, they're close on a lot of them, just not making the final plays. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's been a few things, uh, and it's not just you know defensive. I think it's also it's a team. You know, it's, it's special teams and offense that are included in those factors in the game because uh, it all matters. Um, but you're going to get the one on ones on the defensive side. You got to make those plays. You're going to be in one on one situations there. You know, we're going to try to get more guys to the ball than just the single tackler. Um, as far as the turnovers, you know that's something that we stress. But I also think too. I mean, we're playing. We're playing well on defense. We're making tackles. We're getting guys to the football. Uh, we've had some opportunities for turnovers. We may have missed a couple. We've gotten a couple. Uh, but I also think, too, I mean, that's the only focus. It's all turnover, turnover, turnover. All right, it's really not that. It's about doing our assignment, tackle the ball, and then we have a chance. Um, let's, try to get, let's try to get the ball out. And I'll give credit to the offense that we played, too. They haven't thrown up a whole lot of opportunities. You know, Tyler Horton had the one there. and. Guess what? We're going to work on this week. That type of throw. I mean, it just goes back to okay, we missed it. He was there. We had an opportunity. Let's work on it. Um, that's no different than anybody else that maybe had an opportunity to make a play. We we don't sit there and say, well, you know, this is what you should have done. We're going to go work on it and, and try to train ourselves just to get it done. Uh, but the turnovers, they're still huge. Uh, certainly want to keep getting them and, and not giving them, um, and that will always be an emphasis for us. When you look at New Mexico on defense this year, you mentioned nine return starters, nine seniors out there. What do they do well, and what has given them problems so far? Um, I don't know about a whole lot of problems. Uh, what they do well is they challenge it. Uh, they come up and challenge it. They got some pressures. Uh, they'll play some man coverage. They do mix it up. They've got a few different coverages that they've shown. So some new wrinkles uh, from what they were last year. But um, I think that experience. These guys, you know, they've battled through a few things. They've gotten hit on a few plays. Um, but they, they have they've fought through games. That's one of the things I think this, you know, watching New Mexico, that team has done, 
and then defensively they're gonna they're gonna try to get after you. You know, try to pressure the quarterback, and um, they're gonna make you protect and, and do those different things. So preparing for that, and then at the same time, I think there's opportunities there. You know, that, that teams they've taken advantage of it, and then there's been opportunities that you know New Mexico has stepped up and made plays too. So uh, it's a little bit as you watch the teams they play. There's some variety of what we do, there's some that we don't. So I think it's a little bit different challenge for them too when they face us.